Hey everybody, Chris Renshaw here again with another video for you guys. I just wanted to show off the awesome addition that I have here to the studio and that is uh, one of my Father's Day slash birthday gifts was from Ashley. She has been working on this for a while but it's a new custom built gaming table that she's done for me. You know, a nice surface for playing both board games and RPGs. I thought it was the best thing to show off in this new unboxing video I have. So, a couple episodes ago in uh, Boards and Swords number 61, I interviewed Henry Jasper from Grublin Games. One of the things that Grublin has is they have a dice set that's a very unconventional dice set. Uh, it's the Terralith dice set, which you can find at grublin.com. And because I'm such a big fan of RPGs and dice in general, managed to get them to send me some stuff so here it is now I've just got peanuts all over the table so anyways oh by the way part of the bit that I don't know if it made it into that episode or not actually I'm pretty sure it did because I, I think it was part of the lightning round was I said uh, double decker or Mars bar so thank you, Henry. He sent me uh, a couple of double deckers because I, I said I wasn't sure I needed to uh, have another taste. So I will definitely uh, set those aside. But this is what I really wanted to show off was the Terralith dice. And you may be saying, so big deal. I mean, they're metal dice. What, what, what's the big deal? Well, when they set out to make the dice, um, all dice are set upon you know like your standard dice or you see them everywhere d4 d6 they're all based around geometric shapes well uh iron drake and grublin games this is the cooperation between these two companies they set out to make dice that are just as random as those other sided dice so they ran them one to 20 for like your 20 sided die but they don't have that standard polyhedral geometric shape and and what you get are some really really cool designs if i can get the box open oh man and these I, this is the first time i'm opening it there's now there's definitely uh these are definitely metal they have some heft to it uh so we'll see what we got here like this is i believe this is this looks like a 12-sided die here all right yeah so this is can't really see it very well. I'll have to take some pictures and upload them onto my Instagram. Uh, but you can see here, this is your, this is, that was, let's see. Now, what do I really want to know is where is, all right, so that's the same thing, but and then not the diff, two different colors. So you got like uh, that steel, and this is like kind of a goldish bronze color. Here's your percentage die. There's, looks like two of those. They almost remind me of caltrops or caltrop, whatever those things are that you throw out as dice. Or uh, for that, that uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, which is really, I may end up using these. Uh, I'll test these out um, Friday night during my D&D session because I play a rogue and so it's kind of a little thematic to have these kinds of dice. Uh, like I said, they're very, they got a nice heft to them. They feel very sturdy. They roll just as well as the other ones, but you know, they've got, you know, a little bit of a clang in there. So this, it's really cool. Kind of hurts a little bit in your hand. Not like hurt as in it painful, but it's just like, it just feels different. You know, if you if you if you're wanting something unique in your dice collection, this is definitely something you're gonna want to have in here because it is very exquisite and they are very well they are very finely crafted. There's a lot of detail in here. Uh, only thing I'm not seeing, and this maybe I need to do some more. I need to uh, look some more in here. They don't see a D20 substitute. I don't know. I have to look I look in here because that's, I mean, that's the dice I use the most. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing a D20 substitute. Looks like the 12 is as high as I'm seeing. But still, it's a very nice set of dice. If you're looking for, like I said, if you're looking for something different, definitely check this out. It's the uh, Terralith Gaming Dice from Global Games and Iron Drake. Thank you to those guys for sending me a set. I will definitely be posting up more thoughts on this on tw between Twitter and Facebook uh, once I get a chance to actually use these in a game. Um, and, and you'll have to stay tuned for future thoughts. But uh, that's all for this time. Uh, subscribe, comment down below. What is the coolest dice set that you have? And uh, where did you get it? So comment down below about that, and I will see you guys next time.